Okay, so what we will do now, let me turn it this way so you can see that a little bit better, is actually, let me just trim some of this board off. So I bring it over to the edge of the counter, and then that way I can cut it with the knife rather than using um, the scissors, because scissors are kind of hard to cut through that there. Okay, I'll just leave this so then I can turn it. And then what I want to do is just start to kind of carve it a little bit. First thing I want to do is get rid of this because it's annoying. No, okay. And then what we need to do is just kind of carve. It's not going to be to a sharp point because, again, we want to use as much cake as possible. So let me just cut a little piece here. And we're going to save this just in case we need it. And here. Like that. And then what I do is just start to kind of carve this around. So this is how the bun Easter Bunny actually delivers uh, eggs this year, huh? No more hopping around. He's going to be in a speedster. That's right. Just like everything else, the Easter Bunny's changed too, right? This could also be a rocket. No. <laughs> a crayon. Notice I just had to hold on to that cake so I didn't actually rip that off. Okay, now the back part should be a little more rounded here, curved and rounded. So see how I cut down like this and then cut in at the bottom and then here I need to cut in. these little sharp edges off there. I'll kind of just take the back down a little bit so this will be a little higher here. And then down here at the bottom I like to take a little of this out too. So just hold the knife at an angle, cut, Now I need to round this part a little bit more. Cut under there like so. And this will actually come down a little more too. So I guess you can use all these scraps for your cake pops if you want. I'm not a huge cake pop fan, but I know they're pretty popular. Okay, now turn it around, go in here on this side. We are almost there. Okay, now I look at it kind of from this angle, move this, and I actually look like it looks like I cut it actually in here a little bit more comes out a little further and I actually like this side a little bit better. So this is where I can go ahead and use some of this. And that's probably even more. I'll take it I'll take it from where the icing is and that'll help it stick. Okay, so I put that back cuz basically I had carved that side down a little more. And carrots aren't perfect, so that doesn't have to be, you know, exact on both sides, but Pretty close is nice. Okay, and I think that's probably about it. I don't want to take too much more off, right? You do need to feed people with this cake. Okay, so now I just need to clean all this mess up. I'm going to trim my cake board here with the knife all the way around it, and then we can go ahead and ice it.